Hi, this is Anne with Graphic Design How To, and today I'm going to show you three ways to compress your PDF file size. And the reason I'm showing you three ways is because um, if you see this video years from now, maybe a couple of those ways might not be available. All right, let's get started. <music> Now, if you have an Adobe Creative Cloud subscription, you can just skip to the minute and second on your screen. Um, this PDF compressor is free with a subscription. But if you don't have Creative Cloud, um, the first one I recommend is smallpdf.com. And by the way, I will list all of these in the description below the video. Small PDF. So here is smallpdf.com. Now you'll see free trial over here, but we don't need that. We can come right up here and go to compress. I'm going to choose files and I have a menu here. Um, I'm going to hit space bar so you can see what this is. It's Rosati's of Overland Park. It's a pretty image heavy menu. So right now it's 12.6 megs. I'm going to choose open and it might take a second to upload. And here's our result. It saved us 75% and ended up as three megabytes, which is pretty dang good. So I'll download this. And the thing about this site, you'll need to wait about 12 minutes between files. So if you have a bunch of files to do, this probably isn't the best option, but it's great for just one. I'm going to go out to my finder and here is the downloaded version. I'm going to open it up in Acrobat and we can take a look at the quality that way. So I've got this at 125 and now I'll open the original. And honestly, um, this image wasn't great to begin with. So I really can't tell much of a difference between the three megabyte version and the 12 megabyte version as far as quality is concerned. So that's your first option. I love PDF.com. The second site for compressing images is I love PDF.com. We'll come over here to compress PDF, select PDF files, and then I'm going to use that same menu that we used on smallpdf.com. Now, I love pdf.com is nice because you get some options on how much you want to compress it. First, I'll go with recommended compression and we'll compress it. And on this site, it actually reduced the file size a little bit further than the other site. And then we'll click download compressed PDF. Now, this is interesting because it actually comes up to 3.1 megabytes instead of 2.9, like it said, but I'm still happy with that. And when I compare quality, I can't see a difference. This time I'm going to try extreme compression. So I'll choose that one and then compress PDF. Okay, this time it says it got it under a megabyte. So I'm going to come out. Yes, so we've got 805 kilobytes. So I am going to open this one up in Acrobat and see if there's a big difference in quality on this. Okay, so here's the original and it looks like anything that's vector like text turns out fine, but images are pretty degraded in this extreme compression version. So you can see the logo here does not look good compared to the original. So in this case, I would just use regular compression, but it will depend on the actual PDF you're using. So you can try the extreme one on your PDF and see if you're losing a lot of quality like we did here. Adobe's PDF compressor, and this is only quote, free to you if you have an Adobe subscription. So I'm not really sure it counts, but since most of us are probably graphic designers, you probably will have a subscription. Now I like this version the best because Adobe is the company that makes Adobe Acrobat and who invented PDFs. So anyway, I trust Adobe. Um, if you have a pop-up blocker on though, uh, you will need to turn that off. Usually that's going to be an extension right up here. Okay. So let's see how this one does. We'll select a file. I'm going to choose the same file. Now we do get some options here, but you'll notice 3.9 is as small as it goes. And we also have like a mid range option of 7.3 megabytes and then a 9.3, but we'll do the 3.9. Now I assumed this wasn't free, but it is. You can save your file if you're signed in, but anyone can download their file. So let's see how it did. It said it was going to be three, but it actually came out to 1.1. So let's see the quality here. All the vector things like text looks good, but this logo does seem a little blurry. So let's look at the original. This is so much better. And this one of course is blurry. So let's try a better option. It does say estimated 3.9. We got it down to one here. So maybe this one will actually come in at around three megabytes, which the quality is really good on the other two uh, sites I showed you. We'll go ahead and compress. 
Now this is making me sign in. And when I first tested this, I also had to sign in. So I find it strange that I didn't have to sign in for the uh, very compressed version. I'm going to go ahead and sign in with an account that I know does not have a Creative Cloud subscription. Okay, so even without a Creative Cloud subscription, I'm able to use this as long as I have an account with Adobe, which is free. And if you've gotten this far, it's under convert. So you'll go to convert and compress a PDF. Okay, let's try this again. We're going to go with medium this time and compress. Okay, and now I'll download it. Now this one came to 4.6 megabytes. I'll open it. And the quality here is very nice. So even though it's a little bit bigger file size than the other two sites I showed you, I do trust them more as a company than these random websites that you can find online. All right, if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this, just hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.